and welcome to Retro Bike Subban. Today we have for sale a Honda TLR 200. It's a trials bike, but uh, it's also road legal uh, indicators and registration plate all on it as well. So condition wise, front and rear tire are absolutely brand new. Front mud guard is in very nice condition. As you can see, same as the front forks and the front headlamp assembly, all really nice condition. Right hand side of the tank is in good condition, some nice minor signs of age on the top of the tank. The paint is still very nice and then some small chips underneath uh, the tank itself here. Engine area is in really good condition. As you can see, usually see on these that the uh, frame itself here is rubbed to pieces uh, because of people's heavy duty boots when they're doing trials runs on them. TLR side panels in good condition, battery cover and rear adjustable uh, shocks in good condition and the same with the swing arm, some minor signs of rusting at the rear, spokes and alloy at the rear are in very good condition as well and the tyre is brand new at the rear. 1983 bike, as I said only came out for one year, over the top then seat is in immaculate condition Everything here, two keys were there as well, which is nice. And just under, f or just 14,874 kilometers, which is about 9,000 miles. Rear exhaust muffler is in great condition. It's in the back here, original side stand. Some rubbing on the frame on the left hand side. Again, with the peeling on this left side color cover. Minor marks here, as you can see, and then on the front. So, all in all, very, very clean bike for what these are, low kilometers as well. Uh, for now, I'll be going out and giving it a test drive so you can see how she runs and that she's allowed on the road itself. Okay, so we're now driving the um, if I can find second gear. Uh, we're now driving the TLR 200, which has lights and everything and is ro perfectly road legal. And hence why I'm going to be showing you me driving it on the, r the road. I mean, it's not perfectly geared for the road. Uh, uh, with the way it's geared to kind of go up uh, slopes and the torque. And the lower revs, but you can't do it. Like it's not, it's uh, nothing, nothing crazy. Now you, you fly through the gears now. Brakes aren't too bad, but um, I think he was waving out his hands. Then I'm sorry for fucking stopping so quickly, but that's okay. Super easy to manoeuvre as you would expect. We have the tyre pressures up reasonably high just for this um, just journey out in the road uh, because having them really low like you would do when you're out in the trials just uh, obviously doesn't suit when you go out onto this pavement. There we go, she's up to speed. Very easy to drive. She's actually really fun to drive just because of how maneuverable and light she is. Um, you guys out there probably have a lot more knowledge on these trial bikes than myself. I haven't really ever done trials, uh, nor have I ridden many trials bikes. Uh, I have been told by many, many people though that these are very, very sought after for the, the classic trials runs because they're kind of the best thing out there in four stroke but um, yeah apart from that obviously seat height is going to be fairly self-explanatory it's nothing ma not a, a very tall bike it shouldn't be you kind of are always expected to be standing on these things and um, but yeah the lights are working uh, left indicator and right indicator brake lights um, 
has the number plate on it there as you can see from the pictures in the advert and uh, and so on so uh, I'll just move on after these lights and get onto the straight okay I find it better nearly if you're going at these speeds to uh, no clutch up shift it's easier but she's perfectly fine she's a bit vibrating now in fairness at these uh, higher speeds uh, she's not really made for this kind of thing but she's pretty cool I mean uh, if you have a really short journey into work this would be epic no one's ever seen these things on the road she handles great fucking Jesus thought she was going to come out onto me she handles great those new tyres really do help even on the road they're not too bad um, uh, for me now being so tall it's pretty vibey on the feet and uh, on the arse now in fairness uh, so I don't think I want to be going anywhere too far on it maybe I just have to stand the whole way but uh, who knows anyway she's great fun and uh, they're really cool, like, I don't know, I probably won't get it. But the amount of angle you can get, okay, better be safe here. The amount of uh, turning angle you can get for like maneuvering in and out of small tight places is amazing. I've never ridden anything like it before. Uh, obviously, being a trials bike, it probably, that's normal, but for me, normal bikes, this thing is a nice, you can just nearly turn 90 degrees whenever you want so left indicator here coming down to the end of our little run here ticking over very nicely as well she's got the two keys I think I said that in the video as well but uh, let's get past this this uh, lights as well but yeah um, she oh yeah one thing I forgot to mention she went third kick for me so it wasn't the first kick second kick it was the third kick but uh, I think a lot of that was down to my incompetence of being able to kick her properly she's got a, got a weird kick uh, kick start it's very short uh, like normally you go all the way through on a bike uh, but this one was very short uh, in its in its throw down um, but I'm sure once you get used to it and you drive her a bit more, like I mean, this thing was sitting in our shop now. We haven't been around to be able to get around to photograph it and all that. Uh, it's been there for about three weeks. So I mean, she still had battery in her, so she's keeping a charge. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy with her. This is also, the rear shocks are on the hardest setting as well. For this, you can make them much, much softer if you want to. Um, on the uh, which I would recommend on the dirt rather than out here uh, but that's been it if you have liked the video please do leave a like also comment down below what you think of this TLR 50 or TLR 200 and finally uh, subscribe if you haven't already